morning guys welcome back to the vlog today is Wednesday day three of the journey to Sankofa civil rights tour um, it's about maybe 6 a.m. and um, we're all up getting some breakfast at the hotel and then we're heading to do it's about a three-hour drive and so um, we're getting ready to leave here and we're heading to um, Montgomery and some Alabama which will be um, day three of our trip uh, so I'll keep you guys posted and I'll see you guys there I feel it. Who would have thought I get you? Just touched down in Alabama. <laughs> uh, just touched down in Alabama, and we're currently about maybe a good 25 minutes away from Selma. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's back here. Some folks are asleep. Some people era. It's kind of depends. You gotta go over more. She get hit. <laughs> That's what it is. She's trying to hide. Yeah, she's trying to hide. You gotta get her. <laughs> Don't let her sleep. <laughs> I don't afford to watch you sleeping. Danielle's driving. Uh, I drove yesterday. She almost killed us a few times, but we're alive. Well, we <laughs> thank God for his provision. Um, hey, how are you? Hello, Aubrey. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? Let's see. Is that everyone? Yeah. 11 of us. 11? Yeah. Okay. So this is everyone? Yeah. All right. Well, come on in. Well, I guess we can talk a little bit while we're out here, but we're not going to stay out here this hot sun. <laughs> but um, right across the street, where you guys were, that's the fun. Um, we do activities with the kids here. Uh, we teach them how, you know, how to fish. Sometimes bring the police officers out and teach them stuff like that. Nice. We have a basketball court over here. Um, during the summer, on the cooler days, well, we hire like a coach from the high school, middle school to just come out and work with the kids, you know, teach them the, you know, mm -hmm. different stuff. And then on the baseball fields, we actually use that for community kickball games. Mm. So on the also cooler afternoons, evenings, so just community members come out and the team from here, Hope Academy, come out and just play kickball. Mm -hmm. So stuff to build community. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, come on in. Tuscaloosa. That's, that's what I kept saying. Yeah, that's good. Too good. No, are you from Tappahanna, Virginia? No, huh? I'm not going to be you from Tappahanna. And so the name of this campus is Hope, Hope Academy, and it used to be a school, but now um, this is the campus uh, where all of the Dallas County uh, Children's Policy Council programs for youth are housed. So, okay. you know, we have court-appointed programs for mm -hmm. youth that get in trouble, and it's like, you know, we don't want to send you to jail. Right. We want to send you to a program that, you know, you can right. come in and yeah. take leadership lessons. Um, they get to come to my classroom and just talk about life and chill. You'll see how my classroom is set up, kind of just like a fun space. Right. And so nice. Giving them a drum lesson, popping popcorn, putting on a movie, just 
they don't chill going out and playing basketball. You know? So really just creating a safe space for those kids. And so but what I like to do, when, especially when young people come here um, to uh, do a tour, is the first thing is just start off with uh, encouraging you. Because I know that there's several um, issues that may be going on in your campus, in your community, and you may feel like you're helpless and hopeless and you can't do anything. But the, when you think about the Edmund Pettus Bridge, and you know, and the things that Dr. King and the other marchers, you know, did during that time, everything they did, you know, was probably stuff that at that time people were saying that'll never happen. You know, that would black people ain't gonna never be able to vote. Like do you realize when they went to vote, uh, they would be faced with courses like how many suds are in a, a bar of soap? Like that was the test, test. Mm -hmm. How many jelly beans are in this, this jar? Yeah, this is the type of stuff you know they had to had to deal with. Or being beaten by sheriffs, even shot and killed, and people just getting away with it. So you know, at that time, thinking about just marching across the bridge, you know what I'm saying? They, they, I bet everybody doubted that. I guarantee you, every, they probably even doubted themselves some of them. But you know, the things that they did, the, the actions that they took, the strategic actions that they took, it made positive change, and it transformed not just Selma but the world. So the other programs at the house here, you have Compass, that's a quarter point of program that I was telling you about for the kids that got in trouble, but they're saying they don't want to see them in jail, you know, want to send them to a program where you can actually get some substance. Um, we have WIA, those are the, like the first three classrooms coming in. WIA is actually for like the young adults, it's like ages 18 to 24, and then you can go get your GED, they do like job skills training, you know, resume building type stuff, and then it's free. And not only is it free, you actually get a stipend when you finish at the end. Nice. So, you know, we have some really cool grants here. Nice. Um, also, through the same program, you can get your CDL license for free. As long as, you know, the, the low income and meet those uh, criteria, you can get your CDL license for free. So, um, we have a lot of cool things, you know, going on within the policy council. So, I'm just glad that, you know, I can be a part of it. So, let's take a tour of Hope Academy. We'll see the other offices. Selma and uh, you know just walking the streets of Selma We're about to go and uh, walk the bridge and you know the frustrating part is there's no renovation you know in this neighborhood you know mm -hmm. that's frustrating because this is a historic place you know but having a good time learning a lot growing it's good yeah. I told y'all I'm living <laughs> cut, cut this part out <laughs> you got to be a Two by two. Everybody got a partner? Two me. No. Come on, come on, come up here. We're going up down. There's nothing. Oh. If you can't find nobody, you can hang out with us. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the opposite. Or the... Cheese. 
literally be the exact location where Dr. King led the turnaround Tuesday. And remember where they stopped? Right here in the middle and they knelt to pray. To just re really just lift up a prayer to God and then he stopped and then turned around. And that was the march that they did before the successful march from Selma to Montgomery. And it was called Turnaround Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So a tradition that I like to do is when we get here to the middle, is to just stop and pray. Well, that long walk we just did, mm -hmm. you know, they were running it, getting beat. Yeah. <laughs> the entire road. But this is where, like, right here would have been a sea. Like, it was a sea of... You know, they gave, they said, retreat, go back to your churches, go back home. Mm -hmm. But before they had a chance to respond, you know, bam, they hit them with everything that they had. So we're currently here in Selma, Alabama at the um, Edmund Pettus Bridge where Bloody Sunday occurred, where um, ministers, uh, just a collection of black people um, were marching, attempting to do uh, the march from Selma to Montgomery. Um, but at the end of the bridge is when state troopers, a sea of them, came in and, and pushed them physically all the way back towards the bridge. Um, and so it was called Bloody Sunday, obviously. Um, obviously for, you know, the reasons of the bloodshed of those who died and was wounded. All right, guys, so we're currently in Montgomery, Alabama. We just drove here from Selma. Um, just had a heavy lunch. Uh, it was soul food at this uh, family-owned business, and it was probably the best soul food I've had since I've been here. Um, but yeah, so we're just parked. We have an appointment to do a tour of the Legacy, the Legacy Museum in Montgomery, Alabama. So that's where we're at now. It's about two o'clock or so uh, p.m. on Wednesday, and we have two museums before we end the day with our. Okay, guys, so there's no picture video, so check this after that. So basically, so basically, this is a memorial for um, African Americans that were lynched during the um, 1900s, um, and this is majority after you know, the Civil War, at a point to where um, the government had abolished slavery legally, um, but of course, you know, slavery and oppression still exists at the time because the Confederate states did not want that to happen. They still regarded slavery as something that they wanted you know, to happen, obviously. So they would lynch black people for just the most dumbest reasons, really. So we're going for Ida B. Wells, who's a civil rights activist and a women's rights activist. Very instrumental in the fight for freedom. Okay guys, so day three is done. Um, it's like maybe nine-ish or so at night. I just got to my hotel room to try to find the light. Um, this is what it's looking like. Really plush. Um, yeah, so I'm in Montgomery, Alabama, and I'm ready to head downstairs for um, our day three debrief, debrief with the team. Um, then it probably heads to bed, but I want to show you guys my room. This is what it is. Uh, so I'm going to head downstairs, 
and debrief and then probably go to bed because I'm really tired. Um, it was a pretty, it was honestly a pretty rough day today. Not in a bad way, but just like a lot of information, a lot of like heavy stuff that we learned uh, today. Um, just with slavery and kind of that whole thing. So um, I'm going to do a video probably like in the next few days with everybody. Just kind of, you know, you're able to properly meet everybody and kind of have a conversation about um, kind of what this trip means to everybody. But um, today is day three. Tomorrow we're heading to Louisiana. And we'll be there for the, re the majority or the rest of our time here. So, catch you guys later on.